In the next few minutes, you're going to see some hairstyles your entire family will love. Hairstyles that are easy to create with a Conair hair cutting kit. Just follow the simple techniques in this video and you'll soon be cutting hair like a pro. Before we begin, let's review what's included in your hair cutting kit. In addition to the powerful professional style clipper, there are four special blade attachments. A professional scissors, a standard barber comb, and a bottle of Conair clipper oil to keep the blades in good condition. There's also an easy to follow instruction booklet with more details about your kit. Your kit may also come with left and right ear blade attachments, styling clips, a styling comb, barber cape, neck brush, and storage pouch. Operating your professional style clipper is simple. First, power is adjusted using the power screw. Take a screwdriver, or simply a dime, and turn the screw clockwise until you hear a loud hum. Then, turn the screw counterclockwise until the hum becomes quieter. This is the maximum power setting. Your Conair clipper has an adjustable taper control. For cutting close around the hairline, push lever up. To feed more hair into the clipper, push lever down. Some clippers come with a taper control switch in the front of the unit. For even greater precision cutting, use one of these four blade attachments. They ensure that you get the right length of haircut. The short attachment cuts hair to one eighth of an inch for the base of neck and hairline. The medium short cuts hair to a quarter inch for areas up to two inches from the hairline. Medium long cuts hair to three eighths of an inch for middle, sides, and back. And the long attachment cuts hair to one half inch for area up to the crown. Now we'll demonstrate four basic haircuts. This is Kenny. He has thick, wavy hair, so we're going to give him a taper cut to help control and organize his natural wave pattern. We begin by attaching a number three blade, which will cut the hair three-eighths of an inch. We start cutting at the base of the neck, just below the hairline, using an upward rocking motion. As you can see, the clipper is brought up and away from Kenny's head. This rocking motion doesn't leave a hard line, and so it makes the hair easier to work with. We continue to use the same rocking motion to cut around the ear as well as the side of the head. If your hair cutting kit comes with special ear blade attachments, you'll want to use them for precise and easy trimming around the ears. Here's a good close-up of the rocking motion. Returning to the back of the head, we begin tapering. We use a comb to roll back the hair away from the head so that it can be trimmed. The clipper attachment has been removed, allowing the clipper to cut the hair by sliding the open blade across the comb. This technique is called clipper across comb. Using this technique allows us to blend the longer hair near the top of the head with the shorter hair already cut below. The result is a smooth, tapered line. Returning to the side of the head, we will use the same clipper across comb technique to blend the hair length. We use a comb to roll back the hair, then cut it by sliding the blade across the comb. Again, this clipper across comb technique smoothly blends the longer hair above with the hair already cut below. Next, we trim hair around the ear using the side of the clipper. We start at the sideburn and follow the crease of the ear. This technique is called arching. For the neck, we use the front edge of the clipper to cut an even line. Before cutting Kenny's bangs in the top of his head, 
we moisten the hair which will make it easier to comb and to cut. For the bangs, we comb out the front of the hair from one side of the forehead to the other. Next, we take a length of hair between the fingers and use the professional scissors to cut across them. We repeat this technique on one side, then the other, until the bangs have been cut evenly. Finally, we prepare to cut the top. First, we take a center strip of hair between the fingers and cut across them, again using the professional scissors. You'll notice we use the bangs as a guideline for length. A few minutes later, the haircut is complete. A handsome taper cut. Now we're going to demonstrate the flat top, one of today's most popular hairstyles for boys. We'll start by outlining the perimeter of his head, then arch up and around the hair. We'll trim and outline the back and taper it very short, blending it with the top. When we get to the top of the hair, we'll square it off, creating a flat top or square look. We begin by cutting the sideburns with the front edge of the bare clipper blade. Next, we arch around the ear using the side and front edge of the clipper, trimming slowly and carefully. At the back, we outline the neck using the bare clipper blade. The clipper is held upside down with the thumb in the back and the fingers in the front. This way, we only press lightly with the edge of the blade to get a clean, even line. We use the same techniques on the right side. First, we outline the sideburns, then arch around the ear using the side of the bare clipper blade. Next, we snap on a number three blade attachment, which cuts hair to 3 eighths of an inch long. We use a rocking motion to cut with the attachment. We move the clipper up and away from the head in smooth, easy motions. This rocking motion makes it easier to blend the longer top area with the shorter area below.
We use the same technique of rocking the clipper on the sides. Notice how we crisscross the direction of the clipper to blend the sides to the back. Next, we remove the number three blade attachment. Returning to the back of the head, we use the clipper across comb technique to blend in the longer hair with the hair already cut. We use the comb to roll back the hair away from the head and cut it by sliding the open blade across the comb. Before cutting the top and the bangs, we moisten the hair and comb it back away from the forehead. Both the clipper and professional scissors will work equally well for cutting bangs. But on very light blonde hair like this, where everything shows, the scissors give an extra clean line. We prepare to cut the bangs by combing the hair down over the forehead. Then we take a portion of hair between the fingers and use the professional scissors to cut across the fingers. We repeat this technique until the bangs are cut evenly. Before cutting the top, we comb the hair back. Then we take a portion of the hair between the fingers, using the length of the bangs as a guide, and cut across the fingers using the professional scissors. We repeat this until we reach the desired length. Finished cutting, we blow dry the hair. We also check to see how the hair falls naturally to make any adjustments. Here, for example, we discover a cowlick and even it out with a clipper across comb technique. By the way, be careful with the clipper across comb, especially with kids. If they turn suddenly, you can cut too much hair. Now the haircut is complete, a handsome flat top. Many different hairstyles, including the bob, can be created from this classic blunt cut which we're about to give Carrie. For this blunt cut, we'll separate hair into four sections. We begin by moistening the hair. On longer hair like Carrie's, this makes sectioning easier. We will now create four separate sections, beginning with this section that goes from center crown to center nape. The next section that we create extends from the top of the head to just past the ear. Once separated, we roll up each side section and fasten it with a hair clip to Carrie's forehead. If your hair cutting kit comes with styling clips, you'll want to use them for sectioning. After separating the final two sections, we roll up the hair and secure it with clips to the top of Carrie's head. This keeps the hair we're not cutting out of the way.
After combing out Carrie's hair, we tilt her head forward slightly. As you can see, we hold the hair between the fingers and cut it by pressing the open blade of the clipper against the fingers. Continue to take two inch sections using the underneath section that we just cut as our guide. As we did in the previous section, we comb out the hair before cutting. We use the fingers to hold the hair and to measure its length against the previously cut hair. After completing the back, we section the side and then comb it out. Before cutting the sides, we use the back of Carrie's hair we just cut as our guide for proper length. Then we again take the hair between the fingers and cut it by pressing the edge of the open blade against the fingers. We continue to cut each section, using the previous section as a guide. A slow, steady motion allows for a clean, even cut. Moving to the front now, we prepare to cut Carrie's bangs by clipping off sections on either side of the forehead. Then, we take a small section at the front hairline, about a third of an inch, being careful not to extend beyond the arch of the eyebrows. Using the same technique that we did with the other sections, we hold the hair between the fingers and cut it by pressing the open clipper blade against them. Notice how we hold the hair between the fingers. We lift it slightly to achieve softness and add texture. On wavy hair like Carrie's, tension used is important. Don't pull too hard on the hair because when you do let it go, it can spring up and be really short. But we've been careful and soon Carrie's haircut is complete. A beautiful shoulder length blunt cut. We'll now demonstrate the mushroom cut a great haircut for boys as well as girls. We'll begin by shortening the sides, tapering behind the ears, and shortening the back. We'll also create a line that circles the contour of the head, but the top and front will stay long. This creates the mushroom shape. We begin by moistening the back and sides of the head. Next, we snap on a number three blade attachment, which will cut the hair about three-eighths of an inch. At the back of the head, we comb the long hair out of the way. Then, starting at the base of the neck, we cut the hair with a rocking motion, bringing the clipper up and away from the head. We continue to use the comb to keep the long hair out of the way. On the sides, we use the same rocking motion of the clipper to cut the hair, but are careful to follow the contour of the ear. The comb keeps the longer hair out of the way. Notice how short we make the hair around and behind the ear. 
If you have ear blade attachments, you'll want to use them for easy trimming. We cut the sideburns with the same rocking motion, using the comb to keep unwanted hair away from the clipper. On the other side of the head, we continue to use the number three blade attachment as well as the rocking motion of the clipper. Notice again how short we cut behind and around the ear. Returning to the back of the head, we will use the clipper across comb technique to shorten the hair further and create the line that will circle the head. We use the comb to roll back a portion of the hair, then cut across the surface of the comb using the open blade of the clipper. On the side, we comb away the longer hair, then comb down the area to be cut. We'll use the clipper across comb technique to shorten the side and continue the line that will circle the head. Notice how we use the comb to roll back a portion of the hair, then cut it by sliding the edge of the clipper along the comb. Before completing the side cut, we check to see if the cutting line will match what has already been done in the back. We use the clipper across comb technique to match the side with the back. The line on the side isn't quite even, so we cut a little more. Finished with the sides, we move to the front to cut the bangs. We begin by combing out the front. Next, we take a portion of the hair between the fingers and cut it using the professional scissors. We cut one section at a time until the bangs are even. Once the bangs are even, we blow dry the hair. A few minutes later, a great looking mushroom cut. Let's review the hair cutting techniques you've just seen. First, there is the comb roll. As the name suggests, you use your comb to lift and roll a portion of the hair away from the head. This is used in combination with the clipper across comb technique. After doing the comb roll, you cut the hair by sliding the open blade of the clipper across the comb. This gives you a soft but definite line. Another technique we've used is the uniform cutting with open blade. You use a rocking motion, bringing the hair up and away from the head. This technique is called outlining. You hold the clipper upside down and gently press the open blade against the skin to create a simple, clean line. This is arching. 
you use the edge of the clipper and follow the contour of the ear and hairline. Now watch this video a few times from beginning to end before using your Conair hair cutting kit. Soon you'll be cutting hair like a pro. This video is produced by Conair, a leading innovator of personal care appliances for the whole family. For styling tips or information about any Conair appliance, call our toll-free hotline 1-800-3-CONAIR.